Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about exhaust versus intake on cars. I'll be going over what the main differences are and the main purpose of each of them. So let's get right to it. First, let's go over the purpose or what each of them does. Now, an exhaust is the part of the car that sort of exhausts the air or expels the air from the engine. So once the air has gone through the engine and the, and the engine has used the air um, in the combustion process to produce power, it gets rid of the excess air through the exhaust pipe of the car. Now the intake on the other hand is the part of the engine that actually sucks the air in, it intakes the air. So basically there's an engine here and there's an intake and there's an exhaust if you can imagine, right? So the engine sucks in the air through the intake, uses the air and then sends the air out through the exhaust. That's the main purpose of each of them. Now your car is gonna come with a factory exhaust and intake but you can upgrade those two parts. So I'm gonna keep this very simple. If you want to upgrade your exhaust there are many different options an exhaust is composed of a few different sections so you can choose to do something like a cat back exhaust um, which is generally changing the exhaust from the catalytic converter back right and you can choose to change the catalytic converter to a high flow one or not you can do an axle back exhaust which is changing the exhaust from the axle back you can do a full exhaust with or without headers um, the headers are basically the parts that actually take um, the, take the exhaust from each of the cylinders and combine it into one pipe. So you can basically, the sky's the limit with regards to upgrading your exhaust. There are many different options. And with regards to upgrading your intake, um, you know, there are a few different options. You can upgrade just a filter. And then you also have a short ram intake, which you can change to, or a cold air intake, okay? And the prices are going to vary widely from one to the other. Exhausts are generally more expensive than intakes. If you look at the top end exhaust system versus the top end in intake system, um, the top end exhaust system is usually going to be more expensive. But that's not always the case. That's just the case most of the time. Now, with regards to the sound that they make, an exhaust will generally produce sound most of the time, if not all of the time. Meaning from the moment that you start your car, you're gonna hear that exhaust rumble. If you've upgraded your exhaust, you're gonna hear that. Yes, that's my imitation of a car. And an intake, on the other hand, usually only makes extra noise when you're giving it gas. Meaning if you just start your car, you're not really gonna hear much of the intake. You might hear a little bit of the of the suction, but you're not gonna hear much of the intake until you floor that gas pedal. Then you're gonna hear you're going to hear that intake sound. It's going to make a nice hum, okay? And that's basically it. I mean, as a rule of thumb, when it comes to upgrading a car, you want to do both. I would recommend doing both. Don't only do one. I mean, if you do one now and you're going to do the other in like a month, that's fine or a year, whatever the case is. But, you know, I recommend doing both most of the time. Now, there are situations in which maybe doing both is not the best option. Like, for instance, my other vehicle, right now I'm in my Mazda 3, but in my Honda CRV, would probably be a better idea to only do the intake because I don't want to be driving a CRV around that's making a loud, a loud exhaust sound. It just, in my opinion, it doesn't sound the best. Um, it's not meant for that, but a nice intake sound would be good. So in certain circumstances, that's the case, but I would recommend as often as possible upgrading the intake and the exhaust together. It'll give you the best results and the best sound. And that's basically it. In this video, I've gone over exhaust versus intake in cars. I went over what's the difference and also what are the main purposes of each. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.